What up, Doe Connors? The seven-year anniversary has officially kicked off on JP, and these units are broken, busted, whatever adjective you want to provide. It is ridiculous. This has been some of the most incredible moments in Dokkan history that my computer literally couldn't handle it. The reason why this video is so delayed is because of the fact that my computer essentially gave out trying to maintain all of the tabs of animations and all of the various incoming pieces of information from various sources regarding all of these units. So I had to just stop, <laughs> wait, and now we are going to be going over all of these units' information. Obviously, JP is already using them, but still, Global Doconners, you need to see what is happening on the JP side. Because, folks, you might want to consider saving. <laughs> I can't believe I'm turning tail this quickly on the androids, even though I was so excited for them. But, yeah, these units are uh, must rainbow. So let's just go over them. Uh, shout out to the homie Garesh, but... A bigger shout out to Minato's Flash, folks. If you guys haven't already done so, check him out on Twitter. Follow him on Twitter. For the latest and greatest Dokkan information, Minato actually does an incredible job curating a bunch of information, translating stuff for us, and bringing us information that we need to know regarding Dokkan. So, Goresh also does translations, as does Minato. And Minato also brings us a whole bunch of other stuff. So, guys, go check out Minato. Also, subscribe to his YouTube, youtube.com slash Minato's Flash. So, yeah. Big shout out to him. Now, let's go over the translations from Goresh. Brace yourselves, folks. There is a lot to get to. We're going to be going over the two LRs and the two banner units. And the LRs themselves take like a million years to read. All right? So we're going to start with the physical Super Saiyan 4 Goku Vegeta. Fused Fighters, folks. This is now a thing. Fusion Patara Warriors or GT Heroes category. Key plus three, 170%. Grants an additional... HP attack and defense plus 30% for characters in the Kamehameha category. So what this is now doing is this is introducing a new meta, a new leader archetype. It's not giving us a third category per se, but it is giving a little bit more of a bonus to those who can cross-pollinate between these two categories and Kamehameha. So if you have a Kamehameha Fuse Fighters team, you'll get 200%. If you have a Kamehameha GT Warriors, GT Heroes team, you'll have 200% stats. Insane. Then, Super Attack, 12 key, raises attack and defense, causes Colossal. 18 key, raises attack and defense, causes Mega Colossal. For the passive, by the way, folks, go check out my reactions to all of the animations that took place on these units because there's a lot. And uh, they also have intro animations, if you can believe it. Intro animations. So when the unit appears, it has an animation. But only once. Activates an entry animation upon first appearance. Guard activated against all types for one turn. All attacks for one turn from first appearance. Attack and defense plus 77 gains an additional key plus one per type key sphere obtained for seven turns from first appearance. Attack and defense plus 120 at the start of the turn gains an additional key plus one per key sphere obtained. Chance to perform critical hit plus 7% per rainbow key sphere obtained. Performs an additional super attack when key is 20 or more. Attacks effective against all types when key is 24. You got all that? Good. I don't think I'm going to have enough time to even give my thoughts. Just trust me, they're both broken. Introduction animation, there's the dialogue, yada yada yada. Fusion. Able to be used after four turns have elapsed from the start of battle. Fuses into Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta. Next page. <laughs> Here's Gogeta. 12 key. Greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage. Big Bang Kamehameha 18 key. Massively raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal, and nullifies enemy actions for one turn. What? I, this is my first time reading this. Nullifies enemy actions? So you just shut them down. Oh my god. The birth of Super Gogeta. Attack and defense plus 177%. Gains an additional key plus 2 per type key sphere obtained. Chance to perform critical hit and damage reduction plus 7% per rainbow key sphere obtained. Are you kidding me? Attacks effective against all types. Medium chance to perform a critical hit. High chance to perform an additional super attack. High chance to nullify enemy super attacks and counter with tremendous power. So one key thing to note here, high chance to nullify enemies super attacks. So there's no dodging or, you know, there's no dodge mechanic taking place. It's a nullification and then a retaliation essentially. So don't think of this as the traditional Super Saiyan 4 counter. It's happening a little bit differently. He's taking the force head on and then counter attacking. Big, ultra Big Bang Kamehameha is the active skill, able to be used when HP is 50% or below, 
or when there is one enemy and their HP is 50% or below. Causes ultimate damage and performs critical hit for the rest of the turn. I can't deal with this! That is Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta! Oh my god! What do you even say? Alright, that's just one unit, okay? Now, let's go take a look at the next unit. <laughs> this, this one. We got the God Saiyans and the Blue Saiyans. But wait, there's more. Tech, Super Saiyan God Goku and Vegeta, infinite power God Warriors. Power Beyond Super Saiyan Movie Heroes. So this is the new category here, Power Beyond Super Saiyan. So this is just an all-encompassing level of power that is simply above Super Saiyan? That, I mean, hey, whatever works, man, whatever works. <laughs> key plus three, 170% stats, grants an additional key, or stats plus 30 for characters in the Kamehameha category. So again, cross-pollinating with the Kamehameha category gives you up to 200%. This is stupid! Raises attack and defense, causes colossal. Raises attack and defense, causes mega colossal. Same thing, animation takes place upon first entry. Guard activated against all attacks for one turn. Attack and defense plus 77. Gains an additional key plus one per type keys to retain for seven turns. Attack and defense plus 120% at the start of the turn. Gains an additional key plus one per type keys to retain. Chance to perform critical hit uh, plus 7% per rainbow keys to retain. Plus, performs an additional super attack when key is 20 or more. Attacks effective against all types when key is 24. Okay, so actually let me, let me pull up a second copy of this. Because this is now the god, the gods, and then this is the Super Saiyan 4. They're the same thing, except here... No, they're exactly the same thing. It's the exact same thing. Okay, so it's the exact same super or passive for the gods and the Super Saiyan 4s. Okay. Then, when four turns have elapsed, we will transform from god into blue. And then when we get to the blue Saiyans, we have a 12 key, greatly raising attack and defense for one turn, causing Colossal. 18 key, massively raising attack and defense for one turn, causing Mega Colossal, nullifying enemies' actions for one turn. Same exact deal with these guys. Same exact thing with the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. All right, then we've got the passive. Attack and defense plus 177. Is this all the exact same thing? I feel like this is the exact same thing. Uh, gains an additional key plus two per type keys to be obtained. Chance to perform critical hit and evades enemy attacks plus seven. Okay, this is different because we don't have evasion on this side. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, let's let's start over. Attack and defense plus 177 at the start of the turn. Gains an additional key plus 2 per type keys for obtained. Chance to perform critical hit and chance to evade enemies attacks plus 7% per rainbow key sphere obtained. Attacks effective against all types when key is 16 or above. Perform an additional super attack and gains a medium chance to perform a critical hit. When key is 20 or more, medium chance to evade enemies attacks. Uh, I'm assuming the rest of this will be when key is 24. That is the one part that's Miss oh no no, that's not it at all. Okay, medium chance to evade enemies attacks. That's it. Okay, all right. Then active skill fusion. Blue Gogeta is here, folks. Psych. People were expecting Gogeta to show up. Some people said they were coping. Gogeta Blue is actually here. Able to be used when 50% HP or below, or when there's one enemy whose HP is 50% or below. Love it. Causes ultimate damage to the enemy. Performs a critical hit for the rest of the turn. Oh. <laughs> Okay, there you go. I don't even have enough time to give my own opinion, folks, because there's that's just the seven-year LRs. Let's talk about the banner units, all right? So you guys let me know in the comments which unit is better, which one is worse. I want to know what you guys have to say about this because these guys are stupid. I'm losing my freaking mind, all right? That doesn't shock anybody, but still, I'm losing my freaking mind. All right, next, Tech Shin, Tech Shin Shenron. I can't even say his name right. Tech Sin Shenron. GT bosses key plus three, one thirty percent stats. Super attack, dark dragon slaying bullet, raises attack defense for one turn, causes supreme damage. Attack and defense plus one hundred at the start of the turn. Randomly changes keys of a certain type to rainbow. Let's go. Gains an additional attack and defense plus fifty when attacking with two or more key spheres obtained. Gains an additional attack and defense plus fifty when attacking with three or more key spheres obtained. Gains an additional attack and defense plus fifty when attacking with four or more key spheres obtained. Disables enemy guard with five or more key spheres obtained. Gains a high chance to perform a critical hit with six or more key spheres obtained. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 70% when attacking and a high chance for additional super attack with seven or more key spheres obtained. Did you get all of that, folks? 100, 150, 
200, 250, 2, 320, 320% if you pick up seven or more keysters obtained on this Sin Shenron. I am going stupid. I can't. This is just, just too much. Okay, then. STR Broly. Oh. Movie Boss's key plus three, 130%. Gigantic Strike raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage. Passive, attack and defense plus 180 at the start of the turn, gains an additional attack and defense plus 80%. When performing a super attack, disables enemy guard when collecting two or more keysters obtained. That's it? Just two? Performs an additional super attack when collecting six or more keysters obtained. Attacks effective against all types when attacking an enemy whose HP is 80% or below. Recovers 26% HP at the, at the end of the turn in which the character lands a killing blow on an enemy. I can't. I, 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 I need to lie down. I need to lie down. This is just too much. Oh, <sighs> okay. So there you have it, folks. The seven-year LRs are stupid. The banner units are beyond stupid. And I'm at a loss for words. Global Doconners. <laughs> What's up? JP Doconners, I hate I, I hate y'all so much. I'm so jealous of you guys. I need you all to help me out. Let me know what the verdict is on these units. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed me losing my mind, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments which 7-year LR is better, which 7-year LR's art or animations look better, and which of the two banner units is better. And I want to know why. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future, and click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it! Thanks again. Stay tuned. I'm going to go lie down and put a put a little like wet towel on my head and just calm down and always remember to dokon responsibly oh my god